Hi, I'm Andrew Berry, and welcome to At The Benches YouTube channel. I get lots of inquiries, people are contacting me, asking me, um, what's the best rolling mill to get? Um, is a direct drive any good? Is a gearbox any good? Is a combination? And so forth. So in this very quick film, I'm just going to show you the difference between two different types of rolling mill, a geared box and a direct drive. I've got in front of me two rolling mills from Durston. I believe that Durston are one of the best value rolling mills that you can get, not just in the UK where they're manufactured, but worldwide. Um, I'm not just saying that, I'm not being paid to say that. It's the fact that I've had a Durston rolling mill downstairs in my workshop for the past 30 years. I'm still using it. It, it hasn't gone wrong. It's worked from day one right up until whatever day it is today. Um, it's maintained occasionally, it still produces absolutely fantastic results. So I am saying this from experience. I've used a direct drive rolling mill, I'm, I've used a brand new uh, geared rolling mill, and the one I got downstairs is, say it's 30 years old, it's a geared one, and it's still working perfectly. So let me just quickly unbox these two mills, and I will show you exactly what I mean, the difference between a direct drive and a gearbox. So with the mills out of the box, they do seem pretty much the same. Although this particular mill here is the new agile rolling mill. This is one of the traditional rolling mills. And the most obvious feature that you can see here, this has the complete ring upon the top here handle, whereas this one here has the T-bar. But we'll come to that in another film. We're just looking at the direct drive and the gearbox. Now, a direct drive. What do I mean by direct drive? Well, this particular mill, as you can see, it's straight onto the main frame here. And the shaft that comes out of the mill on the bottom, the roll here, is directly linked to the handle. So that is a direct drive. So for every one revolution of this handle, it turns the bottom roller once. Direct drive. Um, so this is quite an inexpensive rolling mill because obviously due to the engineering part of it, um, it's still a fantastic rolling mill. You're gonna work that a little bit harder when it comes to rolling down because it is a little bit of a harder job trying to roll down your metal because it is a direct drive. So the handle directly turns that bottom roller we've got down there. And obviously the linkage and the cogs and everything else, the teeth within it, then obviously turns the top roller in the opposite direction, which means then you can roll down your metal. So there's this machine. And the most, again, the most obvious feature about this machine is that it has this little extra piece on the end. This now is the gearbox. So we've still got the same principle. We've still got the two rollers. We've still got the bottom roller here, but instead of the bottom roller being attached directly to the handle, it goes into this little gearbox. And within this gearbox, there's lots of little gears that enables the reduction to be reduced. So one turn of this handle turns the rollers one-fifth of a turn. So for every five turns of this handle, turns this bottom roller once. Now, what is the benefit of that? Well, it means that you can put less effort into the metal when you're rolling down. It means that you can put perhaps thicker pieces of metal in with this. It may mean that you can reduce the metal uh, greater, uh, quicker, taking down the thickness a lot quicker. It means that you can do roller printing a lot, lot easier. Now remember, this gearbox makes life so, so much easier when it comes to rolling down. So which is the best rolling mill to get? It's going to be this one with a gearbox. Now, Obviously, this is going to be more expensive. I totally understand that. And to be honest, 
a rolling mill is better than no rolling mill at all. But if literally all you can afford is a direct drive rolling mill, that's fine. That is better than nothing at all. But my advice would be to try and save your pennies. Perhaps put off buying a rolling mill for a couple of months just to save up that extra amount of money to buy a rolling mill with a gearbox. It is going to be so much easier for you. It is going to last you a lot, lot longer. You'll have less problems with this type of rolling mill. As I said, it's exactly the same. You've got the rollers here. I'll come to what all these little grooves and everything do in another film, but this mill with the gearbox, far, far easier. Now, I've had a direct drive mill and I was melting some silver down and I was trying to roll it out. And, you know, I go to the gym now, <laughs> but I still had a problem reducing the metal down sufficiently. I found it was such, such hard work trying to use the direct drive because of what I wanted the mill to do. If all you want to do is just have a bit of sheet or a little bit of wire just to reduce it down occasional use that sort of thing well then perhaps the direct drive is for you but in my experience i find that a rolling mill is such a beneficial piece of equipment in fact when i started in business 30 years ago i had an overdraft i had uh, a thousand pound overdraft and with that overdraft the first thing i bought was a rolling mill then 30 years ago it cost me 500 pounds and you know what? I still have that rolling mill today. It was a lot of money, a lot more than really what I wanted to, but I knew that it would save me money in the long run. I can melt down silver, I can melt down gold, I can reuse it, I can make wire out of it, I can make desection wire out of it, I can make flat sheet out of it. So just don't think of, of a rolling mill just to make metal thinner. Think of the future. Think of what you need, because we've all got little bits of scraps, of little bits of silver that we have in our tray that we could send off to the refiners. But why do that when you could just melt it down uh, in an ingot mold, something like that, into a little ingot and make some wire for free? You can turn around work a lot quicker, a lot faster. It also means that you don't have to carry that much stock, that much square wire or that much sheet. I certainly don't. I just carry a three millimeter square wire in stock in our workshops. And from that three millimeter, I can use a rolling mill to take it down into whatever size I want to. I can use the extension rollers on the end of this particular direct drive here, or I can use the grooves that we got built into the main part here to make some desection wire. It's a lot of money. Make an educated purchase. A rolling mill is better than no rolling mill at all, but I would advise you to save, save your pennies and get a rolling mill with a gearbox. You are going to be thanking me in the long run because it's a far, far better machine, albeit a bit more expensive, but in the long run, it'll save you a lot more money. So there we go. I rambled on enough. Direct drive gearbox. Simple as that. If you haven't subscribed already, Please do love you too. Smash that little bell icon to be notified when films go live on our At The Benches YouTube channel. Don't forget, share this film with your friends. I'd love you too in all the Facebook groups and whatnot. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Leave me a comment down below if you want to have any more information regarding any of the rolling mills that we've got here. As I said, we've got these two machines here. We've got another mill downstairs and I'll be showing you in some later films what these mills actually do and what all these grooves do as well. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, my name's Andrew Berry for At The Benches YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.